Welcome back, everyone. We've heard that polycystic ovary syndrome can affect fertility, but there's actually another associated condition that can affect your fertility as well. It's called anovulation. Here's a little bit more. Hey ladies, today we are at the Advanced Fertility Center and we're gonna talk about something very important. We all wish it was easy to get pregnant from one day to the next, but the truth is there's a lot of complications that can occur. You've probably heard of PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, but then there's anovulation. And Dr. Garza, how are you doctor? Fine, uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you again, is gonna tell us all about anovulation and how it could affect your fertility. Doctor, what is anovulation? It's a general term that uh, indicates that a lady is not ovulating, not forming a follicle, not maturing an egg and not releasing an egg. So it's the general category and actually it's the most common reason why a couple isn't able to achieve a pregnancy. Exactly. Now, for patients with PCOS, you've discussed that it's easy for them to end up with an ovulation. They're almost more at risk. Right. But that's not the case all the time. No. You can have an ovulation without PCOS. Right. You know, and uh, some, some people with polycystic ovaries do mature and some ladies with polycystic ovaries can spontaneously get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So with ovaries, it's, it's never an all or none. But it's a very common reason because they make follicles, they make little cysts and they start growing, but they don't get to maturity, so they stop maturing and they end up getting stacked up like a traffic jam on 410. Mm -hmm. They don't get to the mature size, they don't get to the point where the egg is released, and they don't achieve a pregnancy. Okay, are there any symptoms with an ovulation? Well, unfortunately, having very regular cycles is not proof positive that you're ovulating, and some ladies can be anovulatory but have regular cycles. What's more obvious is, say, ladies with polycystic ovaries, they don't have a period for weeks at a time or months or even years. They obviously are not menstruating regularly, and that's a strong indication that they're not menstruating and they're not ovulating. Well, that's kind of tricky. So can you test for an ovulation here? Certainly. You can do a blood test uh, after the day of ovulation about a week later for progesterone, and you can check thyroid tests or prolactin and ovarian hormones to tell us where the central problem is. So it is treatable? Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you, Dr. Garza. That's certainly a lot of good news for women out there trying to get pregnant. So guys, you heard it. An ovulation can certainly play a role if you're trying to get pregnant and have not been lucky, you need to come ask Dr. Garza for more answers. And for more information on Advanced Fertility Center, you can find them on Hardy Oak Boulevard. The phone number is 616-0680 and the website advancedfertilitycenter.org.